Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day. So, today's video is different. Well, it's kind of like a second part because I did this last summer. And that is my anti-haul, what I am decluttering from my house. You guys are probably wondering, really, Kira, you're a minimalist. You still have stuff to declutter. I do. There's some stuff that I fell out of love with that I've had for quite a while and it's time for me to just let it go. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up down below and do not forget to subscribe if you're new here and let's get straight into it. So I have like all the stuff beside me. It's it's quite a lot. Um, I went through most of it. It was in my closet. Some of this stuff was when I lived with my mom. I never really got rid of it. I brought here, kind of kept it in the closet. I said maybe one day I'll use it. And what do you know, that one day never came, so it's time for it to go. First thing on my list is this little guy. I'm not going to show the front because this is actually um, where you keep your high school diploma. The front shows where I went to school, but you guys have seen these before. Um, I'm covering it for privacy reasons, but I had taken my diploma out of that slot. I put it in my little documents in my binder. This is actually recyclable, so the whole thing is cardboard. So I will be throwing it in the recycle bin. Like I said, I just have my diploma back in the binder and most of the time, like when you go apply for jobs, you don't really ask for your high school diploma anymore. They just ask if you have one, if you say yeah. I don't think they ever really ask to see a physical copy. So if they do want a copy, you kind of just send them over digitally. So this is definitely leaving my house. Next up is my little noodle maker. When I first got this apartment, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna make veggie noodles every night. I'm gonna cook a lot. And truth be told, you guys, I like never ever use this. It's one of those little things where you put the cucumber in and you can make some veggie noodles. It's still in brand new condition. Um, the blade's still fresh. So I will be passing this along to maybe someone at my job or I'll find definitely a good home for it. If I can't, I will donate it to a kitchen place. Um, I'm sure someone will definitely take this, but I have no use for it because sometimes the pasta that I've been buying is actually chickpea pasta and it has a lot more protein in it and it's actually faster to cook and stuff like that where this is a little bit of a longer process it is a cool gadget but as for my lifestyle where i'm basically never home it's just not for me sorry if the lighting is going in and out the sun is actually on its way down so i'm terribly sorry about that you guys next kitchen gadgets i'm getting rid of is this little guy and this little guy i barely use this i used it when i first came into this apartment it's like when you first get your apartment you think you need all these gadgets when in all reality you use them once and you never use them again when i first moved in here i was just starting out my minimalist journey so you know getting these was a big waste of money you guys know what this is this is just to put some oil on the pan or to grill stuff you know you could put some seasoning on it some barbecue sauce I think I used it like once to oil up my pan now I don't use oil to cook with at all anymore I actually just use water so this has no use for in my house you guys are probably like really care how do you cook with water um, I already have non-stick pans and when I am either sauteing some tofu or vegetables. I basically just use a little bit of water and I mix it around. So it works out fine and it's less fattening. So I will be getting rid of this along with this big butter knife. I don't buy bread, so I have no use for this in my house at all. I don't butter anything. I do have butter to bake with. That's the only time I use butter. And sometimes I substitute it with coconut oil, so I have no use for this either. So these two guys are getting out of my house. Another thing that I'm getting rid of that belongs in the kitchen is food coloring. These are brand new. I never even use them. I am staying far away from food coloring because it has a lot of chemicals in it, believe it or not. It's got like blue one, yellow five, yellow six. This is something that I do not want in my kitchen. I feel like I do not need to see colors in my food. Um, I must have bought this a while back because it actually is expiring November 17th of 2019. So pretty soon it's gonna be expiring so maybe I can give this to somebody at work that likes to bake or I don't know someone that doesn't mind chemicals because as for me I do not want any of these kind of things in my kitchen um, and I don't tend to bake with any kind of chemicals I bake with unbleached flour I'm kind of actually switched to almond flour because it's a lot healthier for you and as for sugar I only buy cane sugar or coconut sugar um, so yeah 
I'm trying my best to stay away from chemicals and these little guys have a ton of chemicals in them. Moving on to this little guy. <laughs> I don't know why I have this. I really don't. I think it was a gift. I really don't remember. But it's like a Christmas decoration where you hang up. I am barely here like I said you guys and I'm not much into the holidays. It's not that I'm like a Grinch or anything. Don't really care for holidays. I mean I love Halloween because I love scary movies. But as for Christmas decorations and stuff, I'm not into it. I don't have any kids right now. Um, I live by myself. You guys know that. So I really don't have the need to decorate. I do have a tiny little Christmas tree that lights up. But the only reason why I liked it was because it looked like a pine tree. And it looked like a plant, basically. It looked like a real plant. So that's like my only decor for the holidays. So this will definitely be leaving my house. I'm pretty sure someone at work will take this. Speaking of work, I got these cat ears. Um, I was a cat every year, believe it or not. At work, we actually dress up. I only wore a black shirt with these ears and I'm kind of over it. I've had these for, I want to say like six years. I've been working there for seven years. So yeah, I bought them like the second year that I was there and I'm just over it. I feel like it's kind of like Ariana Grande style and I'm not going to be wearing these. I'm in my late twenties. So I don't really think I want to dress up as a cat anymore. I don't think I want to dress up at all for Halloween. So no offense to people that do. Um, I just, for my Halloween, I rather watch a scary movie or when I have kids maybe take them out or something but the costume thing is done for me next thing is adapters they were everywhere in my house I had about 10 of them I gave some away I have two left so I have two more to give away these are not the original iPhone ones so I really don't want them I I know it sounds so picky but I actually did a comparison where I charged my phone one day and then I timed it and how long it took to charge from zero with a iPhone adapter the regular ones and then I timed it the next day with one of these just to see if there was a huge difference with the charge port. There was. The iPhone charger charged my phone 10 times faster than these guys. These guys take hours and hours for my phone to get a full charge. They belong to Androids. So I'm going to give them back to someone at my job that has an Android because I already have two extra adapt iPhone adapters. I do keep one in my car for a backup because that is the one that I use when I go to work, when I go to my boyfriend's, I bring my own instead of like bringing, traveling with one all the time then you lose it. And then I keep one at my house. So neither of them really like lose their place. So there's definitely no use for these guys in my house. And speaking of useless tech gadgets, let's talk about these headphones. I know it's super bright, but I'm gonna show you guys what they look like in the other clip. These headphones are wire headphones. They are for the new iPhones where it has like the, the charge port, not the circle thing anymore, whatever you want to call that. These came with my iPhone, my new one in December. And surprisingly, they're still in the package because I don't use them because I have the AirPods, which are awesome by the way. I use them for working out. I use them for talking on the phone while I'm cleaning. Nothing attached to you. You just got your wireless headphones in. It's awesome no need for these things anymore so maybe i'll find someone at work to give them to or i don't know i'll, I'll find someone that will want headphones wire headphones there's always that one person that prefers these over the others so i have no use for them they've been sitting in there since december and it's just a waste of space i'd rather have them being used by somebody else instead of them going out of date and then i have no one to give them to so these are definitely leaving my house. Next thing goes hand in hand together, which is tea light candles. I do not know why I have so many tea light candles. Maybe I thought there was gonna be a power outage or something, but this whole set <laughs> is gonna go. You guys know I'm not a fan of candles and there is quite a few of candles in here. This could light up a whole house, literally. <laughs> um, and this one little tea light glass goes with it. So I'll be giving these away also and the only candle i have is actually back there under my little desk and that is a scented candle i'm burning that one out once when it's burnt out i'm gonna clean it because it's got a nice frosted mason jar and i have a plan for that clean it out maybe put something else in it maybe a plant who knows but as for these i have no points for these in my house and if there is like a power outage i'll just go to my car and play on my phone or whatever it's, that really ever happens in my area i think the power went out once in the winter and it was only like for 10 minutes so 
I don't have any use for these and I really think they're dangerous too so I don't want them. The next thing I am decluttering is this giant scarf. I am not a fan of scarves. I do not know. I think someone gave it to me. I never wore it. Um, I really don't care for scarves and I just feel like they're always in the way and I don't know it's just not my thing for the winter I like to keep warm with a nice thick like winter jacket and I have a winter hat as well and that's about it I'm never outside for that long when it's snowing I don't play in the snow yes I shovel but I'm really fast with it so I really don't need this and I know someone at work that will definitely appreciate this I have a lot I work with a lot of females so it gives me options to give get rid of my stuff because I know that they wouldn't mind having it. So it's definitely good to give away your things if you know someone might want it or could use it. Instead of just tossing it in the trash. Tossing in the trash is like your last resort. Try your best to donate your items, your unwanted items, or maybe try to give them to a friend, or you can even try to re-gift them. You know, try your best to give it to somebody other than giving it to the landfill. Next item that I'm getting rid of is my white robe, which I never use. I just have some nice heavy duty sweatpants with a sweatshirt and I barely ever go for the robe. I feel like robes are nice to have if you use them quite often, but for me, I think I use that robe like twice. I think I use it once in a video when I was taking my makeup off, but in all reality, when I take makeup off or when I do a mask, I'm in a t-shirt, like a big giant t-shirt. It's trying to stay comfy. I feel like robes, I'm not as comfy in them, especially with the white robe. I'm constantly worried to see if it's gonna get stained. I'm always looking at the sleeves. I'm like, oh my God, did I get pizza sauce on it? Did I? So yeah, I'm definitely not a fan of robes, any kind of robe, whether it is a thick one like that, a silk one. I do not want it. I had a silk one before I got rid of it and now I have a thick one and I'm getting rid of it. So robes just aren't my thing. And the last thing that I'm decluttering is something you guys are gonna be like, whoa, Kara, what is wrong with you? And that is my Monstera pitcher. The reason why I'm getting rid of it, I'm not gonna hold it up because it's really big, but I'm getting rid of it because it's just too much. I'm not a fan of pictures as much as I was before. Yes, I love artwork, but certain kind of artwork. Like, I'm more of an abstract kind of girl. And as of right now, I kind of like my apartment to have a blank canvas. Um, no hate to anyone that loves art or that does art. Obviously, like, I do appreciate paintings and things like that. But as for my living space right now, I gotten rid of majority of the paintings and things that I've had, including the Buddha um, picture I had in my room, the Buddha statues I had uh, gave them to a friend, and I just like to have a blank canvas right now, and, a, and especially with the Monstera painting, I have two big Monstera plants in my house, so I feel like it was kind of cliche to have a Monstera picture here, two Monsteras there, a Monstera over there, I feel like it was just way too much Monsteras around. Um, especially even a Monstera blanket. So yeah, a little bit of too much is um, overwhelming. So that's why I'm getting rid of it. I know exactly a lady at my job that loves plants just as much as I do and she already said that she would love to have this in her house. So I will be giving that to her. I'm glad that it's going, all this stuff is going to homes that people are gonna enjoy them because as of right now, they are just sitting in my house and I'm not enjoying them because I'm not using them. So yeah, maybe in the near future I will find some nice abstract art that could go in, not in here, but eventually when I get a house and stuff. But as for me living in this apartment, and with me never even being here, I just don't really feel the need to have as much things and especially things that I'm just not interested in anymore. So there you guys have it. That is everything that I am getting rid of and please do not judge me on it. Um, I'm happy that these things are going, not going in the trash, they're going to great people. And I don't know, I feel every time I declutter something in my house, I feel like a sense of clarity. I feel like, wow, my like when I move out of here, whenever I do decide to move, it is going to be literally, it's gonna take me like less than an hour because I only have like my bed, my desk, um, and there's a couple other things I probably will leave behind. So moving will be a breeze. Uh, that's definitely what I think of when it comes to your house because majority of us don't normally stay in that one spot forever. And when it's time to move, 
then you feel like, oh my god, I need to get, I need to borrow boxes, I need to get this, I need to get that, I have no room in my car. And that's kind of like what I'm avoiding. I don't want to be that person to like take hours and hours to pack stuff and I'm not saying that I'm moving anytime soon, you guys. I'm just saying I'm thinking ahead of the game. I'm thinking like, you know what? If I don't use this stuff, then what's the point of it taking up space in my house? And then when I do decide to move, I have to figure out whether I'm going to get rid of it right away or take it with me because it's not the right time to get rid of it. So yeah, I'm constantly thinking ahead. I'm always thinking of the future. Don't mind me. But yeah, so that is it, you guys. That's what I'm decluttering. That's my anti-haul. If you guys are decluttering or already did declutter for this summer, let me know what you got rid of, whether it was an extra pair of flip-flops, headphones you don't want anymore, any car accessories you got rid of. I would love to know down below, or you can message me or comment on my Instagram. That is also linked down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.